Hello everyone, welcome to Cheesy Code. This is a small video to get started with React environment setup. Generally, it takes a lot of time to set up the environment for React apps, but thanks to the React community, there are various tools and starter kits that can help us getting started very quickly. So in this video, we will see the easiest way to set up React and with all the fancy tools and technologies like Webpack, Linting, Babel, JSX, etc. So let's get started. You must have Node.js installed on your machine. If you do not have, just visit the site at this URL. Here you can see the URL. Just download this file and install it. This will give you NPM, that is Node Package Manager. This tool allows us to download the dependencies required to create an app. I assume you have Node Package Manager installed on your machine. So this is the folder I have created. Open the command prompt. So here you can see I have opened the command prompt in this folder. So I will install this dependency npm install hyphen g create react app. So hyphen g here stands for global installation of this dependency. So this is the dependency that we need to install. So we are giving a command to npm that we need to install this dependency create react app globally. Press enter. It will take couple of minutes to get installed. Once this dependency is installed, you need to run this command create hyphen react hyphen app followed by the project name. So suppose I give the name weather app. So press enter. This will create a new folder for you with the name of weather app and it will install all the dependencies that you need for developing react apps. It will take couple of minutes as you can see here. As you can see the directory has been created. You can run the following command by going inside the folder. Uh, so let's just run this command cd weather app so now we are in inside this folder here you can see the folder as well inside this folder i will run the command npm start what this will do it will open a webpack server with one of the files so now you can edit the file and it will be automatically reloaded now just to check whether it automatically reloads or not let me add just cheesy code here and save it so now here you can see it automatically reloads. So let's open the packet.json file to see the dependencies. Here you can see the only dependencies that are mentioned is react and react dom. Here you can see the dev dependency as react scripts. So these are the following commands that you can run. So once you complete your react project, you need to build the project by running this command npm run build. Even it has implementation for test cases as well. So you can run the test cases. And uh, this is the important command react scripts eject. The setup for this project is uh, pre-configured but you can change it anytime you want. Uh, to configure that you need to run this command react scripts eject. So let's try the eject command npm run eject. So, so here you can see a message that are you sure you want to eject this action is permanent. What it will do is it will download all the dependencies that is being used by this project. So let's run this command press enter. So here you can see the package.json has been changed behind the scenes. So it will take few minutes to install all the dependencies. So there is this config folder that has been created for you. Here you can see the config file webpackconfig.dev.js. This is the file and webpackconfig.prod.js. You can make any changes you want. This is all about the setup of React environment. For more information, you can visit this URL. Create apps with no configuration. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Keep sharing. Keep liking our video. Thanks for watching.